Hey guys, what's going on? It's Hi, and I'm here to provide you with a nice show and tell presentation here. So, first things first, you're probably wondering why am I pointing my video camera uh, down to the floor? Well, uh, I have my camera on the tripod here, and I want to show you um, this. I have a Final Fantasy VII uh, CD game from PlayStation, and you you can probably see what I'm trying to show here. It's this little P here. A uh, little background story behind this P is that uh, back when Electronics Boutique or EB Games was around, um, in order to mark their pre-owned games, they would use a Sharpie market, a marker and mark it on the disc. And, you know, back then you didn't really care about the condition of your uh, CDs or anything. As long as the game played, you're fine, right? Well, when you're going to sell the game, having this little blemish on the CD sucks and it's gonna probably earn you less uh, um, money back when you're trying to sell well I found a nice solution on how to get rid of these uh, sharpie markers without damaging the actual um, CD artwork um, you use isopropyl rubbing alcohol 70% so this is what I used and basically you apply it on you know a cotton swab or, or a, a cotton square pad or whatever you may have and you rub it on the affected area so in case you know the sharpie marker and you keep rubbing until it starts uh, dissipating and eventually you can take the other side of the pad or another pad to uh, rub it off uh, and clean it so this is the result I got the disc 2 here, and you're wondering, where is disc 1? Well, here's disc 1. The P was actually on this warning label here. Well, not really warning, but it was on here, and I basically took the cotton pad and just took the rubbing alcohol, put it on the rubbing pad, and just cleaned it off here, and eventually it started to loosen up, and then finally it got to the point where I could just wipe it off and you can see really close that none of the text has uh, been affected at all um, I'm gonna do a few of these and just to show you I have this one clean already I just wanna try it out otherwise I wouldn't make this movie if it didn't work um, here's the disc 2 again I got disc 3 and then um, I have a whole bunch of other games that I'll show um, later on. I'm going to just pause this video and then show you some other examples of games that I have in P. And then after that, I'm going to go to work and uh, try to remove it. And then when I'm done, I'll show you the results. Alright guys, I'm back. And uh, I couldn't find any more games that had the P on them with the Sharpie. All I found, uh, aside from the Final Fantasy game I had, were uh, this game from Dreamcast called Ken Spike and also Soul Calibur from Dreamcast. So, I'm going to get to work, and uh, once I'm done, I'll show you the results. See you soon. Hey guys, um, you know what? I decided that I'm gonna actually show you a demonstration of using the isopropyl rubbing alcohol to remove the Sharpie marker on one of the discs. So, I'm going to use the Final Fantasy Disc 3 because uh, during the uh, pause there, I did the Final Fantasy 2, and look, the P in the upper corner here was gone, is gone now. So um, I used it again, it worked, it worked on disc 1 where the P used to be here, it worked on disc 2 where the P was on the white area, so we really, you know, you didn't have to worry about any black text or anything. So now, the test is to prove that the ice, the rubbing alcohol does not affect any of the artwork here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down for a moment and uh, grab the rubbing alcohol as you see here. I've got my little cotton pad. I'm going to apply some on that. Okay. May need a little bit more. I don't think I'll put too much on it. But here we go. Got the disc. And again, rubbing alcohol pad. Okay. And here we go. It'll be a little difficult for me to do it while I'm watching the camera, but 
So, what I used to do first is let it sit there for a little bit. And then eventually just kind of rub it in. And you can see already that the Sharpie marker is starting to come off. Okay. And then now I rub a little bit harder. Okay, looks better, right? And I'm gonna actually take this a little off screen to try to look in and try to get some of the last uh, marks here. It's hard to see in the camera again, sorry. All right, clean that up. And then sometimes you'll see some uh, residual marker. You wanna make sure you kind of clean it up too um, with the alcohol and then that way um, none of it will affect the other parts when you start rubbing and smearing it all over. Okay, I am looking at it, inspecting it. Looks good. Below, and the good thing about using rubber, all rubbing alcohol is that it dries, you know, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, you can just waft it in the air and, and it'll dry rather quickly. Okay, and I think we're good. So, here's the result. You saw that pee there earlier. You saw me apply um, the rubbing alcohol with the cotton pad on there and you know massage it a bit and rub it and the pee's gone. So uh, that proves that the rubbing alcohol works well removing the sharpie markers on these discs without affecting any of the, uh, the artwork on the disc itself. So I'm going to go and finish up with the other two games from Dreamcast and I will be right back. Thanks. Alright guys, I am back and going to show you the final results of the game, oh, I'm sorry, the Dreamcast games that I had uh, cleaned off here. So you see, Cannon Spike, the P used to be in the upper corner, now it's gone. Soul Calibur game, again, around the upper corner, gone. And uh, actually, these discs um, were a lot easier to remove than the... Final Fantasy this because um, of the uh, artwork on here and when the Sharpie marker was applied um, I think uh, not much of it was on it or stuck with it so I probably could have uh, maybe used water but you know using rubber alcohol clean it up a lot cleaner um, same with this too so uh, and that's it for my demonstration so again uh, just wanted to show you guys um, a way to you know clean any of the Sharpie marker off. You know maybe you have some CDs lying around that you wrote on with Sharpie and you need to rename it or something. You can always use some rubbing alcohol to erase it and then rewrite the text once it dries. And then for those looking to uh, resell their games, again if you happen to have written on the game for some reason or maybe the store that was selling it had written on it. Uh, with Sharpie and you wanted to clean up for a better resale value, you can go ahead and use rubbing alcohol safely and uh, without any problems uh, whatsoever to the uh, CD artwork on it. So, alright guys, well uh, take care and I will catch you later. Peace.